What's going on guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Drone Tips for Starters. Now today we're going to be talking about archiving your footage. This is very important. Basically archiving means backing up, and if you're like me, you're going to want to have a backup of all of your devices. Now this is off topic, but as far as my iPhone and my iPad are concerned, I usually back them up using iCloud. It backs up automatically overnight through the air, which is a nice convenient feature. Now as for my Mac, I have it backing up to an external hard drive. It backs up all the applications and documents that I have on my Mac, but today's focus is going to be backing up your footage. Now as far as the hardware is concerned, I'll go over a few of the things that I use. The first is the WD MyBook. You guys may have recognized this as it is in the back of most of my videos. It is made to be stationary. This is where all of my backups are. You're not going to be one carrying this around just because it has a spinning disk inside and any sudden movements could corrupt all of the data inside. So this is pretty much on my desk 24-7 and whenever I plug my computer into it or any SD cards, it will back up all of that data. Now moving on to more portable solutions, the first is the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. This is 480 gigabytes, and I use this for bringing footage with me on the go. It's super fast with read and write speeds of well over 400 megabytes per second. So whenever I need to edit video and I need to bring a lot of it with me, this is perfect. Next up I have a pair of SD cards, both of these are 128GB made by SanDisk and I use this to hold all of the raw footage coming off of my drones as well as my GoPro. This footage is pretty much waiting to be edited and is not going to be archived just yet so I hold them on the SD card until they are edited. And finally I have some old USB thumb drives. Now these should seem familiar to a lot of people that are often used to move data and bring it around with you. Now these are going to be good for storing any data that can be used almost like a mini archive drive. And they're also good for bringing footage around with you. So honestly if you can't go with the 6 terabyte archive drive or the Extreme Pro SSD, these will suit you guys perfectly. Moving on, we're going to take a look at the desktop and I'm going to show you guys how to move around these files, manipulate them, and back them up. Now first off, we're going to want to hit command spacebar. This will open up the spotlight search. From here, type in system preferences and hit enter to open up the system preferences. Now within all of these different logos, we're going to be looking for time machine. This is located in the fourth row and it's going to have this little arrow going around in a circle. We'll click on that and from here, we're going to be able to set up backups from our computer. We can hit select disk and from there select the external disk that we want to back up our files. From here we can turn on backup automatically and you're pretty much set. Whenever you plug in your external hard drive, it'll automatically make a backup from your computer's files. Now if you're someone who likes to store your footage inside of your movies folder or your documents folder, you're set from there. All of that stuff will be backed up on the external hard drive and if you ever do lose your computer or something happens to it, you're going to be able to access all of that footage from your external hard drive. Now me personally, this isn't the way that I like to do it. This is because you're taking up more space than you need to. You have that backup on your external hard drive, but you also are taking up space on the hard drive on your computer. Now this is a big thing for MacBooks as I only have 500 gigabytes and I'm using most of that stuff to house my applications as well as a lot of the documents for school. So I'll show you guys how I usually like to do it. So first off, we're gonna close out of this window. I showed you guys how to back up using Time Machine, but how to back up your footage, the first thing we're gonna do is, as you can see, we have the test footage here and we have my archive drive. So we'll double click on that and you can see some of the folders that I have. I like to organize them very nicely, usually by the different cameras. Now, first off, I have all of those backups coming, my, coming from my computer, as I said. The next is my GoPro archive. So anything shot on the GoPro is in here. The next is the iPhone 7 archive. The next up is some old lacrosse film. Then I have my Mavic Pro archive, my Phantom 4 archive, as well as my Phantom 4 Pro archive. Now this right here is some uploads from my YouTube channel. I usually like to save the files just in case anything happens to them on YouTube itself. So now that we're in the finder window of our archive drive, we can take the footage off of our desktop and drag it in. If you choose to encrypt your backup, you're going to have to type in the password to your computer. I usually like to encrypt mine just in case someone tries to get into it. I'm a little paranoid about that stuff. So as you can see, we're copying it over to the archive drive, and this is going to make two separate files. We're going to have the file on our desktop as well as the file inside of our archive drive. And as I said, there's no reason to have two. So once it's finished transferring into the archive drive itself, we can take the desktop version and delete it. We're not going to need that anymore. Now this right here is some Phantom 4 footage, so I'll take that, drag it into the Phantom 4 folder, and from there, we're all set. I have a nice backup of my drone footage. 
So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned. I really do hope you take this information and use it because archiving your footage is so, so important. I know that I like archiving my footage just so I can have it and look back at it at another time. Whenever I take my drone footage, you know, of course I like to upload it to YouTube to share it with you guys, but it's also a personal memory for myself. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh my.